All right. Hi. Hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Miranda Kaba. Yeah. Is there a um, is there a champion of the uh, circle oh, of fighting in the tavern? <laughs> is there a reigning already grog? Well, I have to know these things. <laughs> uh, we were wondering if we might perchance acquire your knowledge about town uh, for a bit of a search. What to talk to him about fighting? Right, I hear you're a good fighter. You look strong. Scars, abandoned ship, abandoned ship. Right. I have an intelligence of six. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, <laughs> there is a very pretty lady over there with slightly pointy ears. Talking about you. What you? There's two of them. I saunter over. Hello. Oh, oh, my name is Tiger. Oh, 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 I recall his name was Broken and Bloody. <laughs> I think that's a friend of yours. No, I know the I know the Bloody family. They're terrible people. Anyway, my associates and I were wondering if you would. I, come, is that what we're doing? Trying to get into. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, we're trying to find out more about uh, uh, Grace Spine. Where yes. he might be. Who his associates might be. Gee, I'm so glad you came. <clears throat> Would you like to accompany us on this journey that we're taking? Oh, God. We're trying to find the gray spines. <laughs> and you seem like you would want to come in on this. Do you need so, any help? Sure, you can come with no, us. No, I'm I don't want you to say yes. I'm <laughs> 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 no, no. going to take a stroll. Yes. Poses of a married couple. Ew, no. Uh, uh, just for the purposes of sneaking around the house. I don't know if that's illegal in crack. <laughs> How about we pose as brother and sister, creepy? <laughs> Turn around, there are four carvers <laughs> that are hurrying towards you now with their hammers out. Oh, going, Jesus. You! You! What? <laughs> they all kind of surround you on all sides. You have a dwarf in each corner. Like, you have attacked one of the great dwarven families of Craghammer. Name yourself and your business before you're under arrest. Don't speak to me in that manner. I am Tiberius Stormwind. Look, we're just doing our job. What's your business? I understand that. I'm sorry for losing my temper. But I was <coughs> just looking to ask questions of uh, particular artifacts I've been looking for, and this house is the only known arcane house I know that I was pointed to. I tried to reach them and uh, communicate, but I was stopped by this stupid rune I can't figure out. <laughs> so I was turning back to get to my tavern to get some rest and, you know, come back and try to contact the family the next day. And then I was stopped by you! <laughs> Look, we let me off this once, but if you so much as spit in a direction, of any other dwarf in this city, we're gonna bury you so far underneath the dungeon that you won't see the light of day till the day you rot. You hear me, Dragonborn? I mean, yes, I, my hearing's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's now a bear. Um, what are you doing, Keyleth? I'm a bear. You're uh, a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bear. Um, uh, <clears throat> citizen, I haven't seen you, but what's your name? Oh, my name is Tiberius Craghammer. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, like Johnny New York. <laughs> so, so, we're in Craghammer. Oh, it's Johnny, Johnny New York. <laughs> so, what is it, Craghammer, or what was it? Uh, I, met, I met Stronghammer. We want to try to get into this place, or are we just going to go to the mines? Maybe we should just talk to Dostok first. And and ditch this place? Every time well, we break into someone's house, things Nostop, go poorly. Dostok, we're trying That's to get true. to the mines, essentially, so... Yeah. I think he's still listening. <laughs> I'm going to turn invisible. <laughs> As he's looking over there, just you are vanish. All right, and I, you I, can do I, that? I'm sneaking into the house. <laughs> oh, to what end? To what end? Uh, my name, of course, is Percival Frederick Stein von Musil Kowalski, the Rod of the Third. You, you can, can call, call him Percy. Percy. <laughs> <laughs> this is his finger as. Yes. She's uh, stepped on a few toes around this place. Oh, is she clumsy? <laughs> One could say that. Hey. Mm. Uh, the ogre that's been beaten and blasted by the fireball, it's getting up. <clears throat> and grabs its club and begins to get up on one leg. As the lightning arrow slams into its chest, you can see it hits. Looks down for a second, and then the charge boom, pulses through its entire torso as it does. It screams out into the cavern. Its whole muscle system locks tight, and it falls forward again onto its chest. Smoke rising off of its 
whole upper Dang. area on the ground. Oh, my hunter's mark! Huh? I didn't do my hunter's mark damage. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You kill him. All right. <laughs> so you <laughs> killed him. He is Wait, so oh. dead. Oh my god. Looking at these goblins, they're not charging to attack. They're the attacks seem to be instinctual. They are. They're running. running. Oh they no! They are scared. Yes. They are fleeing from something. Oh shit. From the ogres? Oh, no. 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 Something no. behind the ogres. Oh no. Crap. May I make a request that you kill them anyway? It's like playing croquet at this point, so yes. <laughs> I would like to rage, and I would like to move to the right of all those stinking goblins. Right over here? Yeah, oh, a little more to the right. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, keep going, all the way flanking to the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I would like to give them the cleanest shave possible. <laughs> no, I think you're really handsome and nice. You're going to have inspiration dice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to have a little look. Uh... I know, we're some beautiful song for us. We're working on damage. You can add it to an attack roll, a saving throw. Yeah! There you go. Rog, you're up. Right, I would like to run around the other side of the rock. Raging spit flying out of my mouth. <laughs> and I would like to use the chain of returning, also crafted by Tiberius, attach it to the end of the great axe, and throw it from where I am at the snake. Okay. Yeah! So he's running around, <laughs> rears back, and takes his double handed great axe and. Yeah! Um, and then I'm going to turn into an eagle. <laughs> Okay. As one does. Yeah. So we'll save for now. Sure. We've got to bring an eagle. Sakao! So Sakao! We've got to bring an eagle. <laughs> and then, um, I, I fly away. Away! 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 That's pretty great. And then I cry in the corner and rock back and forth a little bit. <laughs> okay. And that's my turn. Oh my god. 24. No 24 points of lightning damage. No yes. Kill it, kill it. Oh! I don't want to do this. Yeah! I let the player describe their, their victory. So, as you sing to yourself to bolster your arcane energy, you release the sheer bolt of it. How, what do you, how do you want to do this? The, the bolt of lightning uh, be, begins in its, in its tail and works its way up through its spine, slowly but painfully torturing it as it slowly, slowly yeah. feels the effect coursing through its evil body. <laughs> Its eyes burst out in a blast yes! of energy, <laughs> and the body falls limp. Can, can, it, can it have a lightning bolt shaped in, the, in an S? <laughs> a standard <laughs> shaped lightning bolt is burned into the torso of the strange Naga beast. <laughs> well done, Scamlin! Well done! As, as the dust settles, and the adrenaline's still pumping in your system, Scanlan. All the rest of the dwarves begin stepping down, putting their crossbows down, looking down at the little gnome that created a storm from its hands. It kind of pat, <laughs> one of them pats him on the shoulder and goes, well, well, well done. Thank you. Just promise me that you'll tell Pike about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because it was really cool, right? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, good. Cool. 